So in this series of commutative uh, algebra, I'm going to jump directly to ring homomorphisms. Um, I'm going to jump the polynomial stuff that's more or less easy and it's only problems uh, on notation. Okay, so I'm going to jump directly into the definition of ring homomorphism. So we have a mapping from A to B where A and B are both commutative rings. Okay, so what is a ring homomorphism? A ring homomorphism is one function where the image of the unity is the, the unity to if we have two elements in A, uh, this will be the same as f of A plus f of A prime. Um, for all A and A prime in A. Okay? And 3 f of A times A prime is the same as f of a times f of a prime. Okay, same here for all a and a prime in a. So if these uh, three things happen, we have a ring homomorphism. So if the homomorphism is also a bijection, so if we have a ring commutative rings, because this set of videos are about commutative rings. Uh, <coughs> if we have a ring homomorphism, and if that homomorphism is a bijection, we say that both rings, they are isomorphic, so we have an isomorphism. So, in this, in this situation, we say that commutative ring A and commutative ring B, they are isomorphic. So A is isomorphic to B. Okay? Uh, usually we write with, the usual notation is this. A, these two small things, this means A uh, isomorphic to B, but I always uh, write it this way. Okay, let us see some examples. For instance, um, let us pick phi from the complex commutative ring to the complex commutative ring um, given by, let us say, we get a complex number A plus uh, Bi and we take that to the conjugate. So the conjugate will be A minus IB, right? Okay, so complex conjugation um, these two rings they are isomorphic. So in order for them to be isomorphic we have to have an homomorphism, a bijective homomorphism. So we have an homomorphism here because um, the, um, the unity here is here too, right? So 1 is 1, the conjugate of 1 is 1, right? 2, if, if we have two complex numbers and we add the conjugation, is the same as conjugating the addition, right? And 3, same for the product, right? The product conjugation is like the conjugation of the, the product. Okay, so here we have an isomorphism between these two rings. So conjugation gives us an isomorphism between these two rings. 